Now, <coughs> when you're going to go put your windows back together, the first thing you're going to do is you've got to get the weights back in. And you want to make sure that the chains are the right length. If the chains are too long, if it's the bottom window, you've got to open it up and it won't open up all the way because the weights are bottom out. If the chains are too long on the top window, you know, you go to close it, it won't close all the way. And it's really just that simple. And the way you do that is, is, is just as simple too. Basically, you take, for instance, we're going to chain the top first because that's in the back. And all you have to do is simply measure from the bottom of the sash itself. Okay, the top sash from the bottom up to this little hole, uh, little hole right there. And I got 13 inches. So that's what I want when I pull the uh, weight all the way up to where the weight just taps here. I want there to be 13 inches of, of chain or whatever right here hanging. Because that way there, that'll be the right uh, measurement so that the window will go up and down without bottoming out or whatever. Or not opening all the way. So I'm going to assume uh, we're going to use some of the steel chain here today. They have copper dip chain out there. Uh, Again, you go to buy chain, if you're going to use chain, just make sure you can get the weather stripping that, that matches the chain you're going to use. If you're going to use copper dip chain, you want to make sure they have the copper colored weather stripping. Uh, if you, and if you can't find that, if, if all you can get is the bronze color chain, you should use the bronze. When you go to feed the chain in, you actually can feed it in either way, uh, but I like to feed the flat end in first, okay, but you can feed the round end in if you want. The important thing is if you're going to, whichever way you feed it, you may as well just stick with whatever you're doing so that, you know, the chains aren't in, you know, in wrong, you know, it looks kind of odd because one chain's hanging one way, one chain's hanging this. I, I personally just use the flat end and I find that's the easy way to do it. And when you feed the, uh, the chain in, with the, with the chain it's really easy because it's heavy enough that it will come right down and you'll be able to grab it by your hand right there like that. Whereas, um, now if you have weights like this, you notice this weight here, it has like a slot. You can come in both sides, right? That you would loop. One like this, there's nothing on the other side. So this is one where you would turn around, okay, and you would hang this right through here. And you would use one of those clips here through the flat end so it won't come out. And that's what would hold the, hold the weight on. Um, if you got the slotted end, this type here, you're going to come through like this, okay? And you're going to want to get one of these clips here and clip it like this to the flat end. And then just tighten that up so it can't come out. And then again, like I said, you want to make sure you leave a little bit of room up at the top. You don't want to pinch it down too tight because it might cock the weight. So you come over here and you just like that. You can see that. Just do that. Make sure your weight is hanging nice and level like that. Then you go like this here. Sometimes it'll seem like the weight, the chain gets twisted and it's not pulling correctly. What I have found, stop it from doing that, is just twist the, twist the chain a little bit itself and then it'll stop pulling fine. Now this, this pulley is a little loose. You're going to find sometimes when, if, if the, if the uh, screw comes out and you go to screw the pulley in, the, weight, the wood might be fatigued. And if the wood is fatigued, you're not, the, the screw hole is like blown out and the screw won't hold. Uh, the right way to fix that would be to take the pulley out, get a piece of dowel, glue it in there, and then the next day you could screw the, uh, you could screw the pulley in, in the place it's supposed to be. Now, what you do is you pull the weight up, okay, and you do this gently. You don't want to pull on the pulleys. Just wait till the weight taps right there. You can see it's like right at the top. And then you turn around and you put that little spiral thing there and then you measure, go back to that measurement again. That measurement from the bottom of the top window 
up to the bottom of the journal, which is like 13 inches. And you can just turn around, mark your 13 inches there, and then just cut it with the lineman's pliers. The chain usually cut it very easily with the lineman's pliers. So then you're left with the with the uh, the task of putting the weight cover back on again, and then. The case of this one, this one's been beat up really bad for a long time. Hopefully, yours are in much better shape. If they're in really good shape, you'll just pop them back on, put your screws on, and you're done. Okay, so let's let's do the last one with the rope. I usually use some kind of tape for the. Uh, you need a piece of chain, probably about this long here, and you can feed that right through. You can use just this this light painting tape. Doesn't have to be anything more than that. What I do is I take enough of it off, like that. You don't want to take too much off because you bunch it up so much it won't go through the pulley hole. So you want to take about that much off. Just enough so you can turn around. And place the chain about halfway in, like that. Place the rope about halfway in, like that. And then you just kind of roll it up, just like that. And then you can see this through here. going to come through the top because this doesn't have a slot through it. So I'll just come through the top of this, basically tie a knot like this, and just pull tight on it so you make sure it's not going to pull out on itself. And there you go. And then it's the same thing. You would grab this here, and you come down right around to here. and. Up you probably want to give yourself another three or four inches because that's what you're going to need to tie a knot. Tie a knot in there. 